Hi, Sunny fans. Welcome to Tori Talks with Dr. S. I'm Tori. This is Dr. S. Today we'll talk about Sunny, the finale. Wow. We made it. Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, you guys, sigh of relief. Zen is alive. Yay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, okay. I don't know about Masa. I'm still not convinced that he's dead like he may try to say, but yeah. Zen's okay. I, I have a, yeah, I agree with you. Okay. Well, basically he may has, well, Zen, Mixie, Susie, and Hiramasa. They're all, they're all captive by the Yakuza, right? So they're, mm-hmm. they're held there or whatever. And yep. this is when things get to be pretty much explained yeah. because they want that dark manual. They want that dark code. Yes. They're so, trying to get it. And they have that guy yeah. helping him, yeah. helping them. And, and th- I'm guessing they want this so that they can put that code into other home bots and ma- basically make like a bot army. Yes. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So they want like a team of bot assassins yes. that can do their dirty work. Yes. It's kind of fascinating actually. But yeah, it's, it's yeah. that whole question of like, yeah. you it's know. elaborate. Yeah. And her cousin is the the leader of the pack, but she she kills him. So I guess now that makes her by proxy. She's the leader. That's what she wants. It seems. And it's crazy. Right. Okay, yeah. So with help from Noriko from jail, uh, they they escape their captures, captures. Yes, and then basically they they have to go rescue Sunny, and Sunny decides not to erase her memories. To, yes. What did they call it? Wipe, wipe herself. her memory. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. wipe herself. Like yes. Factory reset. Which sounds very weird. Yes, yes. exactly. So Mixie volunteers to take uh, Sunny to Kyoto. Okay. And what ends up happening with Mixie? So Mixie, so we, she's a traitor. She is a traitor, right? So we were wondering this whole season, like, what's the deal with Mixie? And then I thought, even at the beginning of this episode, no, Mixie's fine. Okay. But now it seems that Mixie is involved. It was kind of like a... <sighs> Like a, what's, what are those called? A little cliffhanger, right? Assuming there could be a second season. I think there totally could. Right? Yeah. I guess it would probably depend on how, what the viewership is. The viewership for our show isn't great. So I'm like, that doesn't mean that it isn't great for Apple TV. Right. <laughs> yes. Well, <laughs> but, um, yeah. She, you know, I will say Mixie did seem remorseful, regretful. Mm-hmm. She felt bad about it. She's she torn. seemed nervous. Yeah. But then I also am like, wait, are they like making her do this is this against her will or like did that uh, you know yeah. there's some seems like there's something more to it because the guy's like oh you did great mm-hmm. she's like i know so then yeah so so obviously that. at the end she is involved but maybe she's kind of against her will like you said like maybe masa was also at first against or you know you know yeah yeah i think masa's alive i think so too yeah i think it he's was, hiding out somewhere. i think so too it was alluded to and i think yeah because he is like i sent you his shoes Mm-hmm, exactly. That doesn't, that's that's not, not, like, no. definitive proof. And like you always say, we didn't see him dead. No, we never saw him so dead. So you can't, mm-hmm. it's not confirmed that yeah. he's dead. So I would love there to be a season two. I was trying to research. I didn't see anything about it being picked yeah. up for a season two, but. It probably needs to conclude and a little time has to pass, maybe. Yeah. I don't know that it's, like, unless, I mean, I'm sure, I know some shows do, like, oh, Runaway Hit. It's renewed while it's going on. But yeah, but that, I haven't heard a lot about this show except from us. Yeah. So yeah. But let's talk about our title character, Sunny, because she ended up being the most loyal. She just wanted to protect her, and of course, this is Masa's doing. But also, she had a hunch about Mixie long ago. Remember, she never mm-hmm. really liked her. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm glad it's called Sunny because I, she's my favorite character. She is. I know. She's a robot. I feel the most, cares. and especially going into last episode <clears throat> when we were like inside. Sunny's yes. decision-making process, that whole crazy game show episode. Mm-hmm. Which was, was Yeah, the best episode of the season for me. And so, yeah, I really, yeah, it reminded me that Sunny is the name of the show and the main character, so I would like to see more. There has to be more. I mean, even mm-hmm. with Sunny, because she, she's not going to wipe her memory, so she'll still be right. the Sunny that we know. Right. And then we have to figure out what's happening with Masa. Mm-hmm. And noriko has got to get out of jail. So I don't yes. know. There's just so much to work with. Yes. Now, like you had recommended, there's some filler episodes or some things they could have made a little more concise. We don't mm-hmm. need 10 episodes, Apple TV+. Plus. Yes. It could be like six, <laughs> right. something like that. So yes. no pressure. <laughs> we do need to find at least the answer to what happened to Masa. So yeah. I hope that it is planned to have at least one more season. I also think that actor who plays Masa is kind of handsome. Oh my so gosh, would probably ripped. kind of like to see He's more of him muscles. if I'm being thirsty here. Yes. And I like Rashida Jones. I know her character's not super likable, but I just like, I like basically the Japanese culture, and I love that yeah. we, it stayed in Japan and everything was like... I love that, too. Yeah, the little details that we would see, like, in restaurants yes. and how different things work there. And I love shows that have, like, bilingual 
you know? Yes. So, um, yeah, I just think it's kind of cool. Yeah, thanks for making me read. I need yeah. to do more of that. <laughs> no, really, that's that's good. I used yeah. to dread it, but now I, I liked it. And it was just super captivating, and it was a super good show, and nobody's and really watching this, but who cares? It's very different. It's a different show. If you want original, yeah. mm-hmm. you want an original show, and you like the Japanese culture, and, you know, these people are pretty... Nice to look it's at. Kind of sci-fi too, like yeah. AI type of you know sci-fi thriller. It, it can be yeah. funny sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. suspenseful. It's yeah. got something for everyone. It's just not your typical AI or your typical like you know yeah um, American abroad story. It's just right. like different. What's gonna happen is they're gonna pick it up for season two. People are gonna be like, oh, I guess I should watch the show if it got a season two. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna find us and watch this. Yes. Not that it's all about us, I, but we want people to love the show like we do. Yeah, I, I feel like it will it will get good reviews. Like. You know, and then people will be like, oh, I should have watched that show. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, that completes the first season of Sunny because there will be another one. Uh, We are going to be reviewing other shows. We have, what do we have coming up? From, oh oh my my gosh. Did you finish the second season? No, I just started. uh, Oh my gosh, season two. I just started it. I watched the first episode. It's so much more scary than the first. It's so good. Okay, so we have that coming up. Thank Mm -hmm. you. We also have Shrinking Season 2. Finally, Severance will be January 17th of the new year, but we're going to do a... We're going to do a rewatch. A rewatch of Season 1. Yes, because I would love to review that episode by episode. So good. Yes. And we're watching Only Murders in the Building, so if you are too... Follow along with our reviews, and then we'll see you around. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.